Hey, you guys, it's AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys here, and we are chatting with fans from Live From Homes Hotline. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing in quarantine right now? Yeah, it's been surreal, AJ. First of all, thank you. This is, I've been a fan since 97. I mean, with everything going on with the protest and the pandemic and yep. I'm a captain in the Air Force and, and uh, we're working from home. Well, thank so you for your just, service. Thank you. Thank you so much. Before I get my question, my mom told me to tell you hello. Hi, mom. You guys have been together for so long. I know you joined when you were a teenager. What would you tell young teenage AJ? I would say run for the hills. Um, <laughs> No, you know, there's not a whole lot I would really tell myself because I feel like it's a lifelong process. If there was anything I would tell myself, maybe have a little bit more of a voice when it came to making decisions. I was much more passive when I was younger. I just kind of went with the flow. And as of lately, probably since we made In a World Like This, I finally started just having a voice and saying, hey, you know what? I don't really agree with that. Or hey, why don't we try this? I hope that answers your question. That was perfect. Since the whole COVID thing, what's the one thing that you've learned about yourself? And what's the one thing you would like to learn more of? That's a Diddy. Um, <laughs> being home and being able to focus on myself and not be distracted with being in a hotel room, being in my own mind has been an absolute blessing. Knowing that I'm not going to be working again till April means by that point I'll have almost a year and a half sober, which is a great foundation for me to go back on the road. And now being present for my family, I couldn't do that if I wasn't in the headspace I'm at right now. Thank you. Hi. Love your background, by the way. Thank you. This was in Memphis in August. <laughs> nice. My question was just, what is your favorite song to perform? And like, what's your favorite song that you guys have written or collaborated on? Oh, wow. Favorite song to perform. That's a doozy. To narrow it down, if I would talk about the DNA World Tour, it's kind of a toss up between Breathe because it's our first real, true, original acapella. And just the, the presentation of that moment in the show is just beautiful. Brian would disagree, not a fan of Heights. Still the fact that I somehow finagled to get, get another boyfriend still in this show means the world to me. That's one of my favorite all time ever to perform live. Favorite song that we've recorded there's a lot of songs that nobody's heard. We've talked about re-recording potentially somewhere down the road, all of the unreleased songs. Oh, and then just putting them out on like a double anthology with like 50 freaking songs. Oh, thanks. Great. Just so you guys know, especially being someone that's cut to quarantine alone, you know, you guys are always with me in the car when I'm at home. Awesome. So, Thank you. I really appreciate that. It helps us get through. I just want to know if you guys have ever thought about releasing a special edition album of Unbreakable and This Is Us with Kevin, like Kevin's track at it, because I I personally love Unbreakable. So I would love to hear it with, you know, Kevin laid into yeah. the song. That would be something interesting for us to go back and consider maybe re-recording ones that, that, that Kevin wasn't on. Of anything that we did without him, Unbreakable is his favorite. We were like, Kev, how do you feel about putting songs that you weren't on in the show? And he was fine with it. But talking with our directors who we respect and we really admire, they were like, let's really focus on stuff that all five of you have always been a part of, except for Undone. Like that was the one that like, Come hell or high water, Kevin was like, that's going in the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> of course, of course. It's bittersweet that we're not able to tour this year, but we are going to be touring next year. And you guys have been in the trenches with us. You've been with us when we're high, when we're low, when we're diagonal. And that speaks volumes to myself and my four brothers. So thank you guys. Well, we're in it for the long run. As long as you guys want to keep performing, we are here. Oh, we're yes. going to keep we're, we're going <laughs> to keep going until I mean hell, even if we're in wheelchairs or on crutches, we're still going to be doing it. Thank you guys very much. Thank and you. I will Thank talk you. to you soon. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye Thank everybody. You. Stay Bye. safe.